Ah, Mr. Clare here for Clare Maths. We're going to look at National 5 Maths, multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions through teaching plus all the past paper questions. There will also be some questions from maths.scot, an excellent website. Make sure you check that out. It will be the ones in the grey boxes and you'll be able to go on there and see the written solutions as well and lots of other revision. Let's start off straight away with A over B times A over C. So that is A times A times the top, which is A squared all over b times c is just bc and there's no simplification required so there's a quick first example now a word for our sponsors clever maths is sponsored by lecky the educational publisher for scotland today we're going to look at practice workbooks for national five and higher maths these are just £5.59 when you use the discount code clevermaths at lakeyscotland.co.uk and these are excellent because they have lots of questions topic by topic by topic. So as you're working through the year, you can revise and practice any topic you want and make sure you are comfortable with that topic. But also when it gets towards exam season, a practice exam paper right at the end to make sure you're ready for your exams. Just £5.59 when you use the discount code clevermaths. Links are in the description and down below. Okay, welcome back. One more time, multiplying algebraic fractions. So it's times the top, 4 times 5 is 20, and b times b is b squared. And we're done there. Okay, next example for multiplying algebraic fractions, we've got 4 over x squared times x over 8. So this time we can either simplify in advance or simplify when you're finished. I like to simplify in advance, but I like to put it under one fraction first. So I've got 4 times x is 4x, all over x squared. Now a good way to do this is think of that as xx so you can really see it. I mean you've just got an 8 hanging around. Now that looks really messy and awful. I do know this but to simplify this if I've got a pair that's the same I can just cancel them so they're gone and then number parts 4 and 8 where I can just divide the top by 4 and divide the bottom by 4 as well to get an answer. So my final answer is 4 divided by 4 is 1. There's no x anymore and 8 divided by 4 is 2, but I've still got an x, so 1 over 2x would be our final answer. Okay, getting a little bit trickier here, so we've got 7ab times 5b squared over 5c times 4a. So let me just write that as one single fraction and expanding the b's out so we can see, really see what's happening. So we've got 7ab times 5bb over 5c times 4a. Now you should be able to see straight away here that we've even got numbers that cancel. A 5 on the top and a 5 on the bottom just cancels out. Um, and have we got anything else? Well, we've got an A and an A, so they can just disappear. No more Bs on the bottom, no more Cs on the bottom. Any numbers that can cancel? Well, I've got 7 and 4. Nothing goes into 7 and 4, so I'm done there. So I can just now times. I've got 7, and then just count. I've got B, B, B b cubed over i've only got four and c four c and we're done there so four x squared over three times seven x cubed so we can think of this as four x squared over three times seven x cubed over one remember that's a time sign in the middle so no common factors that go into everything so i can just do four times seven is 28 x squared times x cubed, well laws of indices say I can add the powers, 2 plus 3 is 5, but if you can't see that, I've got xx and xxx, so in total I've got 5, and then 3 times 1 bottom. Now does 3 go to 28? No it doesn't, so that is our final answer, 28x to the power 5 over 3. Okay, getting a little bit trickier, we will have to factorise and do other things. We've got x plus 3, well that's over 1 times x squared plus 7. Well, I can't factorise that. This is no common factor. And it's not something that you can factorise it in two brackets. But x squared minus 9, well, there's no common factor, but it does factorise. So if you can factorise, go ahead and do it. I've got x plus 3 and x minus 3. Check my previous videos on factorising if you need, but that's called a difference of two squares. And now you should be able to see, without writing out as 1, this and this top and bottom disappear. So I'm just left with the top is x squared plus 7, and the bottom is 1 times x minus 3, so x minus 3, and we're done there. Okay, much trickier now, so we've got two fractions we need to times together. So the key thing is, try and factorise as much as you can, and hopefully you'll get some things that are the same. First one, x squared minus 9 is a difference of two squares. So I've got x minus 3 
x plus 3. Bottom bit of that, common factor. 3 is a common factor. x plus 4. 3 fours is 12. Now we're going to be times in this by x squared plus 3x minus 4. Well, there's no common factor, so let's just hope it can be factorised. Two numbers at times to make 4, but add to make 3 is 4 and 1. Well, it takes away anyway. And we want positive 3 in the middle, so it's plus 4 and minus 1. Again, check my previous video on factorising if you need help with that. x minus 3 is just hanging about on its own. But what you can do is think of it in terms of inside a bracket. So you can now clearly see that you've got some things that are the same. So if we look at the top here, we've got x minus 3 in the bottom there. So we can go. We've got an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. So we can go, leaving finally just x plus 3 and x minus 1 on the top. And on the bottom, the only thing that's left is 3. So we're done there. Moving on, dividing algebraic fractions, we've got x to the power of 4 divided by 2 over x. So if you look at previous videos on adding and subtracting fractions and times and dividing, to divide by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. What do I mean? I mean you change it to a time sign and you essentially flip it upside down. So you've got x over 2. So that gives me, if you imagine this is a little power of 1, and that's over 1 now, times in the top, 4 plus 1 is 5, so you've got x to the power of 5, 2 times 1 is 2. If you can't see that, you've got x, 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 that's 4 of them, and then another one makes 5. Okay, another one on dividing. So again, same trick. Start off by changing it to a times over x squared times x over 10. And now we can start to cancel. 5 and 10, x and x squared. So again, if you can't see it, let's just write it as one thing. 5x over 10, xx. X. can cancel an x and an x. And then 5 goes into 5 one time, so divide by 5 and divide by 5 to get 1 on the top. And 10 divided by 5 is 2 and then x, 1 over 2x. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the hang of this by now. So we've got p over 2t squared times 4t over p squared. Put that all together. So we've got 4pt over 2. I'll put the p's in the... First, so you can really see it, pp, and then tt, t squared. So now you can easily cancel. First of all, number-wise, I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 2. So we'll get to the answer to that in a minute. But then a p and a p cancel, a t and a t cancel. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, but then I've got a p and a t. So 2 over pt. And we're done there. Okay, so we've got... A divide and a times in the same sum, but let's change that first divide into a times. So we've got 8x over 3y squared. Divide becomes times and then flip y over x squared times xy over 4. Better a doozy this one, but let's put it all together. So it's all the top 8xxyy. That's what I've got. Over 4 times 3 is 12. Let's just do the 12, shall we? x, x, y, y again. So we can divide the top and the bottom by 4, because 4 goes into both of them. Cancelling things out, you should be able to see that you've got a pair of x's, a pair of x's, a pair of y's, a pair of y's. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 12 divided by 4 is 3. As unlikely as it seems, the answer to that strange sum is 2 thirds. So we've got this one, x squared minus 16 over x6. To the power of 6, I should say, I suppose. Divide becomes times. I've got x4 on the top and x plus 4. Okay, so factorise anything you can. Remember, x squared minus 16 is x plus 4x minus 4. And we're times them by x to the 4. And on the bottom, we've got x plus 4 and x6. I'll just write the x plus 4 first because it doesn't matter the order times x6. So now you can cancel your x plus 4 and your x plus 4, leaving x minus 4, keep it in brackets. And then laws of indices, 4 minus 6 would be minus 2, or you can think of this as 4 cancel on the top, 4 cancel on the bottom, leaving 2 on the bottom. Again, you can just expand it out as x, 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 x on the bottom, and then just cancel out there.
Okay, getting into past paper questions for and uh, multiple points subtracting algebraic fract. Getting into past paper questions. Getting into past paper questions for multiple and dividing algebraic fractions. S Green National by Maths 2015, paper 2, question 7. 5 over t divided by t over 2s squared. So 5 over t over 5t over s times 2s squared over t. Writing it out as one single thing. 5ssst over st. Cancel the t's, cancel the s's. That's just 5s on the top. And if there's nothing left on the bottom, it's over 1. Just leave it without anything. So by maths, 2018, paper 2, question 15. We've got n over n squared minus 4. Divide becomes times. So we've got n minus 2 on the top and 3 on the bottom. So I'm going to have to factorise here. n, n squared minus 4 is a difference of 2 squares. Quite common this. n minus 2, n plus 2. And then I've got times n minus 2 again over 3. So we can see that an n minus 2 and an n minus 2 cancel, leaving just an n on the top, and then a 3 bracket n plus 2 on the bottom. So we're done there. S Green National 5 Maths 2021, paper 2, question 12. 6x over y divided by 2x squared over y plus 5. 6x over y. Let's start with that bit. Times. We've got y plus 5 over 2x squared. Putting it together. 6x, y plus 5, don't expand the bracket. 2x squared, that's xx, and then y. So now we can cancel and divide. x cancels with x. Can't cancel with y, got stuck inside a bracket. So we can just divide by 2 and 2 on the top and bottom. 6 divided by 2 is 3, I've still got y plus 5. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I've still got an x and a y. And we're done there. Green National Pie Maths, 2022, paper 1, question 12. 4 over x plus 2 divided by 5 over x plus 2 all squared. So we've got 4 over x plus 2 times x plus 2 squared over 5. So let's expand this out. 4, something squared is the same thing twice. Over 5, x plus 2, because we're getting things together, so brackets are going to do x plus 2. Now it's simple, x plus 2 cancels x plus 2 to leave 4 bracket x plus 2 on the top all over 5. No need to expand that, so there we are. We're done there. As we missed the coin for Crown Maths today, we did the whole of multiplying dividing algebraic fractions for National 5 Maths. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.